It's about the fear of losing and me not winning, really. The fear is motivating me to work harder, to be the best possible version I can be every single weekend and, and replicate that consistency every weekend. Honestly, the feeling I get crossing the line, winning a race, is still as infectious now as it was back in 2009. Jonathan Ray takes victory! Brilliant, brilliant race. And I think the moment that doesn't become exciting, then that'll be the time to, you know, walk away. You know, I fell in love with motocross the first day I rode a bike, that feeling of being free. I won Irish and Ulster titles, a British motocross championship. I came across this advert in Motorcycle News, like an X-Factor style competition where they whittled 200 applicants down to 20. I was the guy there in my dad's baggy leathers and boots that didn't fit me, but I, I seemed to do okay, and I got the nod. Pretty much I got thrown in at the deep end in the British 125 championship. It set me up great for the following season where I'd moved to the super sport class. The Red Bull Rookie program that I was part of had merged with the Honda UK team to create a junior team. You have next door Ryuichi Kianari and, and Michael Rudder as teammates, and these guys were household names. And all of a sudden, I've had one year's road race experience and now I'm teammates with these guys, so it was, um, it was pretty cool. I broke my leg after six races on Supersport, but I, the team gave me the opportunity to ride a superbike, and I jumped at the chance. And in my first season, I scored pole position at Mondello Park, my home race. But that feeling didn't last too long because I actually got taken out of the race going into turn one, and uh, results weren't great that year. I did a lot of crashing. In 2007, I scored my first BSB win, and you'll always remember that. Race two, Montella Park, and Jonathan Ray, number four, off pole position then. It was a race-long battle with Shaky. He was such a presence in the paddock, you know, somebody I'd looked up to. The race developed into a mighty duel between Jonathan and number 67, Shaky Bird. The two of them absolutely side by side. Shaky cuts back inside Jonathan, and then Ray storms uphill, and he's got inside Shaky this time, drops into the right-hander. Ray on the HM Plant Honda leads towards the start and finish straight. Jonathan Ray getting the better of Shaky Byrne. Jonathan Ray takes his first ever victory in the British Superbike Championship. He told me on the podium to really enjoy this moment. It would be the first of many. And I thought, wow, this guy's just like, he's just pumped my tires right up. I felt like 10 feet tall. That was a moment I remember for the rest of my life. So in 2007, let's say I was a rough diamond. You know, I would train a little bit, but I would, I was enjoying being me. You know, I was enjoying being a factory rider. And when I moved to World Supersport, you know, I had a role model like Andrew Pitt, who was super serious and dedicated to winning. And you know, a lot of that rubbed off on me. You know, I came close to winning a world title in the first attempt, and that earned me the chance to go to World Superbike in 2009. I used to dance Johnny Ray's made it this time. Jonathan Ray hits the front on the last lap. As a superbike rookie at Honda, I won a race, so the team really listened to me, and I felt really proud that we were able to develop the bike at our pace privately and keep putting on the podium, have a race win every season I was there. So you go? You me I felt that I'd taking that bike as far as it could go, and I would race against Aprilia and BMW and Ducati at the time, and I just, I could see the advantage they had, and I knew the only way to really understand how good I was would be to, to jump on one of them bikes. You know, signing that KRT deal back in a hotel room, you know, sneaking around at Jerez 2014 was, you know, the best, the best decision I ever made in life. Jonathan Ray takes it by a whisker. He is the most successful rider ever. 